Okay, now let us get into this evidence and the date of this evidence, the 25th of January 2023. Ban on forced employee microchip implants initially passed by Senate. A bill that bans employers from requiring employees to have microchips implanted into their bodies passed the Wyoming Senate on first reading Tuesday. Senate File 72 was brought by Senator Dan Larson, Har Powell, and received a unanimous recommendation out of the House Labor, Health, and Social Services Committee before it came to the Senate floor. It was carried forward Tuesday by a majority vote in the Senate Committee of the Whole, with a brief debate preceding the vote. Larson said 12 other states have passed similar legislation, some of which prohibits employers or the government from requiring a microchip implant. He said he wasn't aware of any businesses nationwide that are requiring microchipping, but he hasn't heard of any opposition from businesses. Now, people, you need to understand that microchipping is the future. Now, God bless this senator for putting forward this bill to protect vulnerable people, people who depend on their jobs, right? Now, what you don't want is to be back in a corner where they say, well, if you need this job, you've got to do as I say. If you need to travel, you've got to have a microchip. If you need to access services, you've got to have a microchip. Now, this is the technology of the bees system. Now, if we stand together as a people, then we can overcome this thing. What a lot of you don't understand, if one individual take the mark, the prophecy is fulfilled. We were given warning, right? We were given warning as to when it will come and how it will come so we can make decisions, we can take measures, right? But we are so divided. We're divided by religion, we're divided by ethnic groups, we're divided by social class, right? So we cannot come together with a voice and say no to this beast system technology. But God bless these senators for putting forward this bill let us see if it will stand let us see if the people in wyoming will stand in great numbers behind these senators right but understand this technology is the technology of the beast system and it is coming to a country near you right if we stand together we can survive this we cannot stop them from implementing it. But if we stand in great numbers, we can push this darkness. We can push it back into a corner. Right? Now, we really need unity. We really need to stand together. And God bless these senators. Let us pray and seek the face of the Most High because we're going to need him. As I say, glory be. To the most high.